Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I refresh my hairline. As you guys can see, my hairline is looking super frizzy. Like you can see that my edges are all fuzzy. Uh, my hair is about five weeks old and I just went ahead and washed it. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. So you can see my hair has grown out quite a bit in some areas. So it's definitely time to refresh my hairline. So for this video, it's gonna be very, very simple. All you need is a spray bottle of water, a hair oil, some duck clips, and maybe a hair tie to section off some of your hair. So there's many ways that you can do this. You can use mousse if you want to, you can use gel, you can use leave-in. I'm just gonna keep it really, really simple. Water and oil and that's it. So I like to wear my hair in a side part. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a side part just like that. I'm gonna burn my hair to the front. And then I'm gonna section off my hairline, which is right here. So these braids here, and also where the side part is, I'm gonna section that off as well. And any hair that you want to refresh, pretty much put that in the front. And any hair that you don't wanna refresh, put that hair in the back. So I got my hair that I wanna refresh in the front, and I'm gonna put the rest of my hair in a low ponytail. And we're gonna do one braid at a time. So what I'm gonna do right now though is I'm going to oil my scalp. I always do this, especially on wash day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a few drops everywhere. All right, and I'm just going to massage that in. This is gonna keep my scalp from drying out. It's gonna add some shine. It's gonna add a really nice scent. And if I do add a little bit of a massage to it, it's gonna promote growth. So this is what we're working with in the front. So taking one at a time, I'm gonna start with the very front of my head, taking my first twist, and I'm gonna take another hair tie to just put that out of the way. All right, so taking this first twist, so you guys can see how much has grown out. We've got about half an inch right here. So what we're gonna do is take our spray bottle. We're gonna let you spritz that braid. Not too much, you don't want it to be soaking wet, but you just want it, you just want it wet enough so you can actually work with it. So I'm just smoothing that water in and down the length of my braid. I'm gonna go back in and put a drop of oil on my finger and mix that up. And now I'm just going to smooth that into the braid and down the length of my hair. And I'm kind of just brushing it into that section. And then what we're going to do now is begin to twist. And you're not twisting very tight at all. I probably did about three spins and then that's it. All right. And I'm just going to take my clip and I'm just gonna clip that to my head. So moving on to the next one, just a quick little spritz. I'm using a mist spray bottle because I don't want my hair to be soaking wet, but I just want it to be damp. So taking that hair and just smoothing it down. Again, taking my oil on my fingers and just smoothing it into that section and down the length of my hair. And then when you're done, I'm gonna be twisting back. All right, and you're not twisting it tight, but just like that. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys one more spritz. Smooth that in and add your oil.
you guys so now that my hairline is all clipped up and all twisted i'm going to go ahead in with a real satin scarf and i'm just going to tie down the front of my hair and i'm going to leave it tied down for about 15 minutes so it can set so just going ahead and applying it directly to the hairline tucking it behind my ears and then bring it to the front and just tie it so just like that I'm just going to let this stay for about 15 minutes and I will be back. Alright you guys, so now that it's been about 10-15 10, 10 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and take off my scarf. And this is what my hair is looking like. So I'm going to take out the clips as well. And I'm not going to let my hair fall. Because we did this twisting method, you kind of want to style your hair in the way that you twisted it. Does that make sense? Anyways, you're going to see what I'm going to do. So I took down that side. So I am I personally like to wear my hair pinned back. So I'm going to go ahead and create a style. So taking the hairs that I went ahead and twisted, I'm just going to go ahead and do a flat twist. Just a very simple style. Then using a rubber band, I'm just gonna go ahead, put everything together. And it looks really, really good. It's not tight at all, very neat. I will say that if you have very fine edges or maybe you're having breakage along your hairline, I would not suggest doing this twisting method. There are other methods that you can do that are a little bit more gentle on your hair. For example, just applying some mousse, smoothing it in and then tying your hair down with a scarf is another way to do it or just simply taking some gel and brushing it back can work as well if you're like me and you don't mind the natural edges just leave it like this but if you want to play around and actually create some swoops definitely go ahead and grab your gel so I'm going to do that for you guys so this is not something I would do every day just because this is going to cause buildup and I personally don't mind the natural edges but if you want to, you know, go into an event, birthday party or something, you want to, um, you know, change up the style, change up the look a little bit, then of course, you can definitely go ahead, grab some gel and do some swooping. All right. So there we go. This is the final look, how I freshen up my hairline. And I would do this uh, about once a week or whenever it needs to be redone. Um, I try not to do it too often just because you are twisting the front of your hair but it's very gentle, at least for me. I've never had an issue with my hairline. Next time I do put in braids, I will do some other methods for you guys, like the mousse method or the gel method, just so you guys can get an idea of how the other ones work. So I'll see you guys in the next video.